Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design and simulation of over voltage protection circuit by using two simple transistor. Okay, two simple NPN transistor. How you can protect your load in the case of input over voltage. So this is the agenda of today's video. We will understand how you can design a very simple over voltage protection circuit by using two simple NPN transistor and some the, the discrete resistance okay some the resistance here so I'll explain how this circuit works and how this circuit works for the over voltage protection and the later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different voltages and current and I'll also show you if the over voltage function of this circuit is working or not and at what voltage you see your your load current is coming off so let us understand first how this circuit works so if you look at this this is the voltage source input voltage source and I am using this input voltage source PWL source where I am defining my input voltage at time t equals to 0 second the the input voltage is 0 volt and after 100 millisecond that means at time t equals to 100 millisecond the voltage value is 15 15 volt what does it mean is i am ramping my input voltage from 0 volt to 15 volt in the time interval of 0 200 millisecond so this is about my input voltage and if you look at here this is the biasing or uh, driving resistance of this q1 transistor okay and uh, this is the this is the collector resistance of this q1 and if you look at here the this collector terminal of this q1 is is basically the driving the base of your q2 and i call this r4 as a as a load resistance or r4 in this design r4 is our load resistance now let us understand the most critical part of this circuit how this circuit works for over over voltage protection and how this circuit protects your load in case of input over voltage so this is very important to understand now so let's say if your input voltage here is let's say at some value and if you look at this path this is the voltage divider or potential divider path which drives the base of this q1 okay so if you look at the base to emitter voltage of this q1 transistor so this q1 is turned on only if the base to emitter voltage is greater than 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 volt okay and if you look at the the ratio of this potential divider this is the 9k and this value i have intentionally kept as a 470 ohm so if you look at the ratio here it is very less and at lower input voltage your most of the voltage will be dropped across the r1 and your base to emitter voltage will be less than 0 0.6 volt 0 0.6 volt and in case of let's say now what you are doing is you are now keep on increasing your input voltage if you keep on increasing your input voltage what happens is at some voltage some input voltage your the voltage drop across this resistance r3 will be more than 0 0.6 voltage 0 0.6 volt and which is very enough to drive or to fire this npn transistor okay to fire this npn transistor so what happens is if your npn transistor q1 if this transistor q1 is on that allows the flow flows through the current through it and at that point of time the voltage at the collector this vc node or collector is gonna to be zero and if you look at this point if voltage at this node is zero 
that will turn off your Q2 and if your Q2 is off in this case your current flowing through your resistance load resistance is gonna to be zero okay that is how that is how your over voltage protection works this is the case when your over voltage protection comes into the picture let me explain once again guys if you keep on increasing your input voltage from a certain certain value what happens is your transistor q1 will be turned on unless uh, as soon as it sees the voltage exceeds 0 0.6 or 0.7 volt once this q1 is turned on this allows to this allows to flow through flow through the current on it this q1 and the collector of this q1 c 0 volt and this is enough to turn off this q2 and turn off the load current so this is about the over voltage protection now in case the normal operation let's say your input voltage is lower than a certain threshold value and in this case what happens is what happens is the voltage across this q1 base to emitter will be less than 0.6 volt in other words you can say the voltage drop across this R3 will be less than 0.6 volt so what happens is this transistor Q1 will be Q1 will be turned off and this R2 R2 source the base current of this transistor Q2 which is turned on during the normal operation you see your Q2 is always turned on and it will supply the current to the load now what i'm gonna do is i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the waveform and i'll show you what i have explained until now using the waveform so let us go at the waveform so simulate edit simulation using the transient command for 100 millisecond that's okay and go at here run simulation and let me show you the input voltage first so this is the input voltage you can see I am ramping my input voltage from 0 volt to here let's say let's say 15 volt over the time period if you look at this in x axis time period is 100 millisecond right and uh, let me show you the voltage let me show you the voltage here okay so this is your input this is your this is the base to emitter voltage so you can see here at this point at this point your base to emitter voltage is around 668 now it increased here to 677 and uh, this is your input voltage and this is your base to emitter voltage and let me show you now directly the current so this is your current 13 i see here the here the 13.2 milliampere maximum current and let me show you now the input voltage so this is your input voltage v in so if you look at this point here this point so this point my input voltage is 13.4 volt and what happens is uh, at this point let me zoom it and let me explain you so this is the point wherein your input voltage is 13.44 volt and if you look at this point this is called our let's say the threshold point wherein if you look at it if your input voltage is less than 13.4 volt uh, that means in this area from 0 to 13.4 volt you see you have the load current which is ir4 ir4 which is flowing through this load resistance so uh, at the point of input voltage 13.4 volt your load current is 13 the around 13 0.3 milliampere that means your your transistor at this at that point your transistor q1 is off and only the q2 is on and if you look at as soon as your input voltage increased to 13.4 volt to let's say 15 volt you see your load current falls down to zero and at this area you can see your load current is your load current is zero that means this is this circuit is working after 13.4 volt as over voltage protection and it is protecting to the load